Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Augustine. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and you have not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe for us to go to the mathematics community. In this lesson, we are going to find the particular solution of dy of x plus tangent of x times y equal to cosine squared of x. And we have the initial solution as y not equal to 2. Now, what form of equation is this? This is a differential equation. It is linear and it is first order. Now, this equation is in the form dy on the x plus p of x times y equal to q of x. So here, our p of x is equal to tangent of x. And our Q of X equal to cosine squared of X. So this one, the general equation is given by Y of X is equal to the integral of U of X times k of x dx all divided by u of x or you can multiply u of x by y of x and it will be the same so here it means that we have to find u of x which is the integral factor and u of x is given by e exponent the integral p of x dx now it means that u equals e exponent the integral tangent of x dx and this is equal to e exponent the integral tangent of x is the same as sine x divided by cosine x dx how do we integrate this let's integrate it using a uh, u substitution if we let u equal to sine x if we let u equal to of the cosine x rather if we let u equal to cosine x then du equal to negative sine x dx wow and we are going to have negative du on sine x equals dx so this will give us e exponent the integral sine x divided by u oh we can use this part this equals e exponent the integral sine x divided by u that is cosine x equals u times negative du on sine x sine x or cancel sine x and this will give us e exponent negative integral 1 divided by u du wow so this will give us negative natural log of sorry e exponent negative natural log of u because if you integrate 1 on u you get natural log of u which is equal to e exponent negative natural log of cosine x and this will give us e exponent natural log of cosine x to the power negative 1 from the loss of 
logarithm. And this will give us e exponent natural log of 1 divided by cosine x. And this will give us e exponent natural log of secant of x, which is equal to secant of x. Very simple as that. And if you want to understand why this is equal to secant of x, let me explain it quickly here. If we say y equal to e exponent natural log of secant of x, if we take log of both sides, sorry, if we take natural log of both sides, we have natural log of y is equal to natural log of e exponent natural log of secant of x. We have natural log of y is equal to natural log of secant of x times natural log of e. Natural log of e is 1. So you have natural log of y is equal to natural log of secant of x. If we take antelope, we have y equals secant of x. And what is y? y is equal to this. That's why we have the final answer as secant of x. Hence, explained. Now that we found u, it means that we can calculate for our integral that we have at the top here. So, for that integral, we are going to have the integral u of x times q of x dx is equal to the integral u of x is secant of x and q of x is cosine squared of x dx. Now secant of x is the same as 1 over cosine of x. So we have the integral 1 over cosine of x times cosine squared of x dx. So this will give us the integral cosine of x dx. Since cosine of x will go and divide cosine squared of x, it will remain this. So if we integrate cosine of x, we are going to have sine of x. Very, very simple as that. Plus the constant c. Remember to bring the integral constant. Very, very necessary. So, let us clean this portion so that we can put things up here. Now, we have the general solution y of x equals sine of x plus c divided by the integral factor u of x which is equal to secant of x of y of x because secant of x is the same as 1 over cosine of x. So here we have sine of x plus c divided by 1 on cosine of x, which is equal to secant, sorry, sine of x plus c times cosine of x divided by 1. We turn this one upside down for you to multiply. So we have cosine of x times sine of x plus c equal to y of x as our general solution. Now, we have the initial values here. So let's put in the initial values. We have y not equal to cosine of 0 times sine of 0 plus c equal to 2. Now what is cosine of 0? Cosine of 0 is 1. So this will give us 1 times 0. Sine of 0 is 0 plus c equal to 2. So this implies that c is equal to 2. So putting in the value of c will give us the particular solution. So, we are going to have our y of x equals
cosine of x times sine of x plus 2 as the particular solution of this first order linear differential equation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and leave your comments. Bye-bye.